Good morning everyone. Oh, my voice sounds weird. Okay, <laughs> it's quite raspy. Um, I've already managed to get makeup down me, so please ignore that. But I'm getting ready for the day, and do I look tired? I hope I'm not looking tired. Yeah, I'm getting ready for the day because I have a day in London today. I've got two meetings and then I am going to get my hair cut. And this is the first time I'm going to the hairdressers and not really knowing what I'm doing in terms of am I cutting it or am I growing my hair? I haven't really missed having long hair, but I'm not totally certain that I've like found my look with my hair. I think maybe I'm a little bit too scared to go as short as I probably need to go but I just, I haven't missed my long hair. And I know that people write in the comments sometimes like, oh, I miss your long hair. And it's like, I look at it and I'm like, oh yeah, God, Lydia, your hair was amazing, but I don't miss it. I don't feel like it, like I'm not complete without it, which is how I would have felt if I'd done this like two years ago. So it's very strange. It's a very strange feeling that I have about my hair at the moment, but we'll see because Stephen who cuts my hair now is just amazing. Like he literally is so good. I am always feeling like I'm in good hands. So it's all, it's all fine. And then obviously I'm going to see Despina, which I'm so excited about because I haven't seen her for like ages now. Did I see her at Christmas? When did I see her? I can't remember. My makeup today is by Terry, by Terry CC Serum on my face. And then I have literally just concealed in areas, just so it's my skin. I, I probably have already spoken to you about this, but I'm trying to show my skin a little bit more. So I've just used the Armani Power Fabric in shade 6.5 to kind of conceal any areas, but then let my skin come through. And then I've been using the By Terry CC Powder with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate to bronze it up. And I'm also using this over my eyes and just going for kind of like a bronzy glowy look, which I mean, it's literally what I do all the time. And that is the plan of action for the day. I really need to find a new saying, don't I? Than saying that everything is the plan of action for the day, but it is the plan of action for the day. So until we have a new saying, we're gonna go with that. If you have a new saying that I could potentially use, then please do leave it in the comments below. My hair is also looking weird because it's half cut off. So sorry about that. I'm going for my low bun today because I cannot be bothered to do anything else with my hair. And I actually really like how that looks. So I'm going to sweep it back. I'm just dragging some of the shade and illuminate underneath my eyes. Just nothing major, just to kind of, cause it's brown, it works really well with blue eyes. So just doing that and what else was i going to say oh so my meeting today so i have a meeting with my teresa which you'll know that i work with a lot and i'm really looking forward to meeting them because i actually haven't met this side of the team before and that should be really really good and then i also have a meeting with louisa Roma, which you know i am just i am in love with the team there so it's going to be amazing to catch up i haven't seen them for a while so it's a really lovely day ahead. Chilled meetings, nothing too fancy, and then getting my hair done ahead of my trip tomorrow. Should be good. I also haven't spoken to you, but I have been working so hard behind the scenes to get lots of videos filmed. So you might have noticed that there's not quite so many vlogs going out. And I think that that's a good thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I wanted my vlogs to be a little bit better. <laughs> and not quite so I have to vlog, more so I'm vlogging because I want to vlog because otherwise it's not really any sort of, it's not good for you guys, it's not enjoyable because it's just maybe a bit boring or maybe a little bit samey, I don't know. And I know that there'll be so many people that say, we just love your vlogs and that's so lovely, but there will always be people that are like, actually no Lydia, you're right, let's do something a little bit more kind of focused here. Why is the light going funny? I've also got, CC serum on my lips, so it's gone a little bit, yeah. I don't usually have white lips like this. Who remembers foundation lips? Oh. But yeah, so I have been working really hard behind the scenes to start filming sit down videos again. Something that I've wanted to do for a while and I haven't had the time. And now that the team here has got bigger and um, we are doing more and I am able to focus more on the creative side of things because that's what I'm about, really. Like, yes, I love business and stuff like that, but focusing on 
creating content is my passion and that might not be everyone else's passion some, pe some other people's passion might be just business or it might everything's falling out everywhere or it might be networking or it might be something else and for me it's creating content i love updating my youtube i love updating my instagram and i'm working towards being able to update my blog in the same way and it be an enjoyable process and not feeling like oh, i have to do this i have to do that so oh, why am i doing my contour when i haven't even done my eyebrows so yeah that is oh i'm just going to put a little bit of the um highlight on my eyelid because that works really really well a lot of the products that I'm using on my face are like liquid cream products. So they take higher maintenance throughout the day is something that I've realized because by mattifying your skin, it can sometimes look a little bit more cakey. Whereas using cream products means that it's more dewy and sumptuous. Sumptuous is a word that I've just made up, by the way, <laughs> FYI. So I do have to carry a lot more with me to make sure that nothing is moving around too much on my face. So that's just a little heads up. If you're wanting like long wearing, maybe this makeup isn't for you. Let's give my eyebrows a brush and a cut. I'm also wearing a very simple outfit today, I feel, because I fancy it. I am going to be wearing jeans and a blazer. And my eyebrows grow so long. Wowzers, get these bad boys trimmed. It's so, it's so funny, when I look like head on at the camera, I'm like, oh, eyebrows are fine. It's only when I look from the side and they're like, <gasps> so I have to kind of be conscious. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, interesting stuff. What else do we have in store for you today? I think that's about it. Oh yeah, cream products on my face. That's what we were talking about. I obviously have my long wearing products when I just kind of want to do my makeup and not think about it. Like if I'm doing like meetups or shoots or anything like that, then it's better to, that I don't have to think about the fact that my makeup might be moving around on my face. However, I also really like the effect of cream products and how it makes your skin look the way that it does. And that means that I just have to be a little bit more conscious of things, if you know what I mean. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to finish getting ready and doing my hair. And so, oh my God, have I been speaking to you for eight, nine minutes? Seriously, Lydia. Okay, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. This is the outfit of the day. My blazer's going weird. I've got my totem 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 blazer on that i got from netta porte i've got an and other stories t-shirt on which is just basically like a plain white t-shirt which kind of reminds me of like my p kit at school i kind of like it then i've got page denim jeans on and i'm trying to decide what between these manolos and my like kind of pumps the other black ones i think i'm gonna go with these ones because they're a bit more interesting and then i have my dior bag on because it carries so much more stuff. I need to quickly run downstairs and put tonight's video on a memory stick so that I can get that up. And then about that time, my car should be here. So yeah, makeups. Oh, I haven't shown you my makeup actually because I yabbered on for like eight minutes. This is my makeup look. I really like this kind of eye look. I think it works well with my coloring. Hair is up, hasn't gone up as easy today. Usually I don't have to use any Kirby grips, but today it is Kirby grips galore. But yeah. Very nervous about my hair. I just don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, don't know what I'm gonna do. Fragrance I'm wearing today is Arizona from Proenza Schooler. And yeah, that's the uh, plan of action for the day. Oh my God, I just said it again. <laughs> I, it's so weird when you're on YouTube because you get these like weird, like ticks almost. There's a word that I keep saying at the moment, kinda. Like I, I shouldn't have pointed that out because so many people are now gonna realize, but I am conscious of it. I'm just trying to stop, but you know, it's just one of those ticks that you get. But yeah, enough. Enough. I'm gonna go and put my thing on a memory card now so that I can upload later if my hair takes a while. I need my watch and good to go. These two sloffies are chilling in bed together. <laughs> Living the dream. See you later. Yeah. Hi guys, so journey update because I have not spoken to you since I left my house. It has been emotional to say the least. It took me like over an hour to get to the train station this morning because there was a accident on the road and where I live there's literally like one road that 
that just gets you everywhere and if that's blocked you're screwed and I was screwed so we are getting to London an hour late which means that my first meeting with my Teresa is only gonna be an hour which is such a shame but it is what it is and at least we've made it for a little bit of time just to meet them and chat and stuff like that then I've got my second meeting and then it's D-Day for my hair decision time basically we're both absolutely freezing I'm with Carrie as well we don't have coats and apparently it is winter again so it's freezing I've literally got like slingbacks on my feet are like little baby blocks of ice and it's not a good look I miss spring. Do you miss spring? I miss spring. I, I miss spring. Oh, I need to, okay. I need to pay, so I'm going. I'll speak to you after my next. Oh, my next meeting because it's at Soho House, and you can't film or take uh, pictures in there. So bye. When Louisa Vieroma get you the big car. Love this. On to my hair appointment. <laughs> bye. I totally forgot why I was coming here today. Basically, I sent a very frantic message to Des Pina a couple of days ago about my gray hairs, and we decided that we're not gonna be coloring my hair, even though I had my little freak out. She's currently in the process of using Color Wow on my hair. Yeah. And covering my grays, and it's just, this is, this whole, it actually works though, doesn't it? This is for temporary. Yeah, temporary. temporary Don't get caught out in the rain in this, with this on your hair, because it might <laughs> get like black <laughs> tears running down your face. But we're testing it out because I have like one or two gray hairs. Because my hair is the color that it is, it's quite prominent. So we're kind of working out at the moment what the best line of attack is for covering my grays. But we were going to initially color it, but we're not gonna do that now. Not yet. Not yet. But I still haven't decided what's happening with my haircut. Anyway, it's, it's Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh my God. That's made such a difference. It's gone. Yeah, and also, by the way, Covered, covered, covered. Like no, but it like blends it. Yeah. Yeah. Despina just looked at Carrie's hair and was like, we need to do something about it. <laughs> Carrie got told. <laughs> well, Carrie just had it done. I think it looks lovely. I love but I do think Good that- job, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do think you need like a root drag though. But then I do like the whole platinum though as well. I think you could you're one of easier for you to maintain. Yeah. So my gloss has been done and it means it's time to cut my hair, which we've discussed is going to be two and a half inches apparently, but I'm so scared. I'm so scared that all of a sudden I'm just gonna regret it, but I've not regretted anything so far. But it just seems like such a lot of hair. And I know that Ali's gonna be livid with me. Oh well. So gonna fall off there. It's just when it goes, grunk. Yeah, another one bites today. No more high ponytails for me though. been crying it's because I have been um, not over my hair although I need to go and style it myself because this is not how I would style my hair I'm crying because I tried to do something nice for Ali and I picked him up some boots on the way home and I picked him up some socks and some ties and the taxi driver stupidly approached something too quickly broke all of my stuff went everywhere and I frantically tried to find everything on the floor in the dark Thought I'd got everything back in the bag, but missed the ties off. And so they're just in the back of a black cab and he's probably never gonna come and bring them back. So yeah, I was upset about that. So anyway, I'm gonna go and style my hair how I want to style it now, cause I'm home. <laughs> okay, I've cheered up a little bit now. Sorry guys. Just put a little bit of 
some waves in my hair to give it its fullness again but my face is looking a bit blotchy because I cried a lot, sorry. But I've come back and my husband has treated me to a pair of Dewberry boots and these are the new style. They're called the something with an S. I tried on the original ones when I picked up Ali's boots for him because he wanted a pair as well and they didn't have them. So I went to Farley's in, where is it? in Piccadilly Circus, I think that's where it was. It was so funny, I walked in in my Manolo Blahniks having just had my hair done, like Christian Dior bag, and there's like a fishing event going on and there's just loads of men in there like talking fishing rods and stuff and I was like oh this is this is funny but yeah so I picked up Ali some boots as well ready for our trip because we are off to the Cotswolds tomorrow kindly with the Aston Martin team and this is something that was delivered actually I've got two of them this is my luggage I'm gonna pop them over here for the trip as well both Ali and I have two of these suitcases to take with us. They're like holders. And what they basically do is all four of them, so my set and Ali's set, all fit perfectly into the boot of our Aston Martin, which is very cool. Although I think I'm going to have to pack quite light. I reckon my toiletries will probably just about get in that one. <laughs> but still, I'm going to do my best, but that's what I've got to do this evening. I haven't had any, oh, dropping you there. I haven't had any dinner yet. Oh, it's Farlow's, not Farley's. Sorry, I've just seen the socks that I bought from Farley's. Yeah, so I've got to pack my stuff and pack light. So I think it's gonna be kind of a one pair of jeans jobby this trip by the looks of things. I also need to have some dinner because I haven't eaten. They're hungry, they're very hungry. And yeah, up early for a PT session before leaving for two, three days in the Cotswolds at Time, where we've been to before, which you know that we really like. We actually almost thought about getting married at Time, but they only do small weddings, so we couldn't do that because ours was a bit too big. Not that ours was the biggest wedding in the world or anything, but it was too big for them. But it's such a beautiful venue, and we haven't been back for ages, and they've done loads of stuff, like they've got a spa now. So I'm really, really looking forward to going and seeing that place now. And very, very honored to be going with Aston Martin as well. Very excited. I know I've got a very excited husband as well. <laughs> Morning everyone, and to a much more sort of upbeat me. I had a little bit of a wobble last night, but I'm feeling a lot better today. I've also styled my hair how I would kind of want it to look, and I am just so happy with it. I had a little clip in earlier, but I'm gonna take it with me just in case, but little cute little clip. Oh, really, really happy with it. So bye bye to three, nearly three inches. I'm now up and I'm dressed because today I am heading on a little trip with my husband to the Cotswolds to stay at Time. We're heading there with Aston Martin. If you don't know, which you might already know, we purchased an Aston Martin Vantage at the end of last year. And basically Aston Martin have tailor-made a little trip for us to head to the Cotswolds, which is a place that we love. We got married very close to the Cotswolds and we have been to Time before, we love it. And I think I told you this already, but we do love it. So we've got a very special scenic driving route to head there which I'm looking forward to because it means we get to explore the Cotswolds a little bit more. If you don't know what the Cotswolds are because when I say about it many people don't actually know but it's just a very picturesque place in the UK. If you think of the cottage in the holiday it's all like that basically. So we're loading up the car now which has been like washed and serviced and it's ready to go and we're heading for two nights at time and we also have Cal and AR just joining us for the first night I believe because we actually want to enjoy it so we've got our team coming to create any content that we want to create when we're there because then it means we can kick back and relax. I think that Ali's doing a vlog on this as well which will probably go out before mine so I'll link that down below because he talks about it in a much more concise way and knows a lot more about it all than I do. We're putting our Aston Martin luggage to the test as well like I mentioned last night these fit perfectly in the boot of our car. My toiletries are in there. My clothes are in there. My husband is there. She's been out herding the sheep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Have I shown you my boots? These are my new boots that Ali treated me to as an early birthday present yesterday. These are my, what are they? Dewberry. Oh yeah, my Dewberry boots. And very, very country life. Yeah, we're, we're embracing the country living. Mm. I think Ali got some as well. Well, I picked them up for him, but he- um, <laughs> I think I picked them Yeah, I did, but he's not wearing them today. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a Anna Mason 
top and some page denim jeans and then this is a House of CB cardigan which I thought would be quite cosy to take with me and to have in the car because it's basically like a blanket. Are you waiting for me? Um, these kind of match the back of the boots, the lines here. Oh do they? Oh yeah. Matchy matchy. Um, I just wanted to know if I could take your luggage but it looks on. Uh, I think you can. Hold on, let me just make sure I've got everything. We are just in the car and I don't know why, whenever I get in a car, my eyes go so like sore, it's so weird. Yeah, so we're on our way to time at the moment and we've just pulled over quickly and I'm getting excited, very excited. It's so beautiful when you drive there as well. The drive is like half the fun. You excited, babe? Yes, I just want to chill out. Yeah, me too. Oh, there's our front door. <laughs> looking so swollen and tired I'm so sorry I've been in the car for like six hours filming with Ali I didn't realize it was gonna be that long and I'm just like oh my god but we've arrived to time and oh my goodness it's amazing it sounds as if I haven't been here before but that's because there's so much of this place that is, is like new that I haven't experienced so they've now got a spa they've got a pool they've got a yoga studio but I don't think you can like there's not like classes but like if brands do events here and they can put on like yoga and stuff but we are staying in the rose English rose suite I believe and oh my this is actually my dream like I know my house is a new build and unfortunately with our house the ceilings are quite low I think we've got like 240 height ceilings and I do love the big ceilings in these kinds of places and the floor to ceiling windows I mean obviously we have those but this is just a completely different vibe with like solid wood floor and just oh, just look just look this is our bath and it's all it looks like well I'm not sure it could be calamine pink from pharaoh and ball I might be wrong, but it looks like it, purely because I used to have calamine lotion all the time as a kid, and that looks like calamine. But this beautiful roll top bath that looks over the private gardens of this house, gorgeous marble sinks, and funnily enough, you can't see in here, but I have come dressed as the actual curtains. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look. Me and my Anna Mason top are basically one. <laughs> but in here is our bedroom and it's beautiful and big and we've got fireplaces in each of the rooms. We are obviously staying here as guests of Aston Martin. So they've obviously sorted this amazing room out for us. Oh my God, the shower. The shower is the dream. Look at that. I can't deal with it. We've even got a little porchway, which is so cute. I love it. Oh, and you can also close this room off if you want to have some privacy, which is just lovely. But the boys are out shooting at the moment and I am just chilling out in the room. We've got dinner tonight at, I think the Ox Barn? It might be tomorrow, I'm not quite sure. I need to check the itinerary. But I think I'm just gonna like close my eyes for like five minutes because they are so sore. It's not even that I like didn't sleep that well, it's just my eyes get really sore when I'm in the car. No idea why, so I'm gonna enjoy Five minute nap, I think. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's our second day here at time, and I am up and dressed and ready for a day of adventure, basically. We are heading clay pigeon shooting today with Aston Martin. We are also going to a gin distillery, which I am so goddamn excited about. And then we are, I can't remember the last thing that we're doing. I think we're going for like lunch somewhere and just enjoying basically the art of living and i'm enjoying my outfit today because i've stolen ali's jacket i'm going to show you it really quickly i've literally messed left a mess everywhere but i've got my new dubarry boots on that ali got me i've got his coat on i've got a vince jumper on which is this gorgeous cashmere cable knit i've actually got h&m conscious blouse underneath just for good measure and my hair is not playing ball today. I probably need to wash it, but I'm holding out because I'm supposed to have like a spa treatment or something. Oh, did you just hear my tummy rumbling? It's a good job we're going for breakfast. But I'm trying to hold out with my hair in case I have a massage and 
they put like oils in my hair tomorrow so I'm not quite sure what's happening yet. So we've just arrived to Ian Coley gun shop and I'm sure you can hear people firing in the background. We are coming to do some clay pigeon shooting for the morning before we head to the wild rabbit for lunch. We've got the whole crew with us to make our lives a lot easier. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a cute little cocker spaniel inside that I'm probably gonna fall in love it's, with. It's golden, Henry. it's like honey, it's the cutest thing. Oh. Really. oh dude, like just oh just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any clay pigeon shooting. I was really good when I went to Glen Eagles, but Oh, I apparently I have to do some filming. <laughs> this is where we're going. It's getting very noisy. Mm. Yeah. Like a lot. So watch your back, Cal. <laughs> Step out of line. <laughs> what was it that lady you said to you that. yesterday? Um, <laughs> you won't have your children. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah well, you, you won't be having children. Yeah, you won't be having children. Excuse me? It's a very relaxed stance, but bear in mind a little bit of weight on your neck when shooting. I said you're going to be kicked by something. Normally not going to be very pleasant. However, like, you're you're going shot to be <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you are going to feel some recoil, so just relax the shoulders and lean into it slightly. You chat before, and it feels like a gentle pain. Set up your feet first. I will load a cartridge in, normally one shot at a time. I will then shut it and place it into your shoulder like so. Now, what I'd like you to do is with your right hand, bring three fingers up to the handle. Here, yeah. and one off the trigger. Never bring your finger down to the trigger yeah. until we're ready to shoot okay. and the safety catches with the okay. Your left hand, bring that up to the forehand, a nice firm grip. Yeah. And bring your cheek down to the gun. Yes, when you bring your cheek to the gun, try not to push your head forward or bring it back, just wherever your wherever cheek falls, rest. and it will be different for both of you. Wherever your cheek falls is where it's meant to be. Okay, okay. how about we Brilliant. Okay, there we are. Oh, suits you. Yeah. Suits you. Okay. Just don't want to break your shoulder. <laughs> It'll be fine, no problem. When you say pull, the clay will be released. Yeah. If we rush the shot, you're not giving okay. yourself any time. Can you actually just take it nice and steady, stay calm. Everyone backs away. Everybody's slowly <laughs> backing away. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Um, well, I think we are. There, three Thank fingers. You. There, one just resting for the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, you've got it. Okay, so when you see this clay, bring the bead to it. When it is there, pull the trigger. Pull. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think I closed both my eyes. <laughs> Now, That's really scary. We're not too worried about the first shot. I always say the first shot, no matter what I say, you're thinking, what's this going to feel Yeah, like? yeah. What is now this that gonna... I know what that Now like... you know what that feels yeah. like. That's why you said you probably closed both yeah. your eyes and you're waiting for this. But your shoulder's okay? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Fantastic. What's so... that sticking out there? <laughs> okay. That, now... one, that one gets deleted, guys, okay? That gets deleted. <laughs> that never that happened. Was, that was just a trial shot. Yeah. We can, we can just edit, edit that out. Are you ready? Okay. okay, are you ready? Oh. Shoot. Ooh, close. Close. So, so hard. So that time, so that time, it was all. Oh. <laughs> it makes forward? you like shake. It, well, it's going to be the adrenaline yeah. rush. It is an adrenaline rush. So that time, what happened? You were a lot calmer. Okay. But. When you saw the clay, we moved it, we froze, we stayed what? in exactly it, the same place. It's really high, so, so should I move up? Oh, yeah, okay, alright, so I'm still looking at the Christmas tree. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 I thought it was going to like come down to the Christmas tree. Oh, no, no, we, that's where we start. Right. We start there, the clay goes off, okay. we move to it and chase it. Okay, okay. We chase it. If we wait where, we wait at <laughs> the Christmas tree. Wait to come to all, me. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it doesn't like to do that. <laughs> Bring your cheek down to the gun, line up the eye. All you've got to do, bring the bead to the clay, I'll tell you when to shoot. Okay. Here it comes. Move to it, shoot. So that time, you watched it go up and you kept the gun in the same place oh, again. <laughs> I couldn't see it! That's, I couldn't see it! Oh, damn it. Don't chase. Follow it with the gun. Okay. Imagine, okay. this is a very good way that I do 
teaching people. Imagine the tip of the gun is the tip of your finger. Okay. So when the clay I'm goes gonna up, get this. You've got to go. I was really good at Ken Eagles. <laughs> right, okay, okay. And this is just my warm up round. Absolutely. It's all a warm up Shut until you hit <laughs> Okay, so follow it like it's the tip of your finger. And you've got to point at the clay. Ready? Yeah. Here it comes. Point, shoot. Way better. Okay. Doesn't matter if you missed, you moved to that clay. Okay. Now. Doesn't matter if you missed, guys. Doesn't yeah. matter if you missed. Oh, it doesn't matter. Everybody misses. I miss all of them. <laughs> but you the most. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Shoot on the gun for us. Ready? Yeah. Shoot. Yes! There we go. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> so you see every little miss to start yeah. off. We're all leading towards that point where we hit the ground. Okay. Did you actually hit it? Because yeah. I didn't get it on camera. I was looking at you. I'm going to do it again. You're going to do it again. <laughs> do it again. Yeah, I'm a pro now. We can, can't we? Can, 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 can. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whether you know. You get tired. I don't need to. That was really nice and quick and confident. I like it. Okay, I, was just, I was just playing it down, down a little bit. I didn't want to show you all that. So. I didn't miss it you. Well done, well done. <laughs> So I've just finished up shooting. I've given Cal and AR some of my shots so that they get a chance to shoot as well because neither of them have done it before. I think AR hasn't done it before, but I'm not sure if Cal has. Ali's just gone to get the car. We're leaving in about 15 minutes to head to the Wild Rabbit for lunch. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm actually really good at this. Like, I love it because it's obviously clay pigeon shooting, so I would never shoot animals ever. Like, they do that where we live, and it's obviously just not something that I agree with. But this is a great way of, like, enjoying it as well so i got to do that but now we're gonna get ready get packed up and head down the sun keeps coming out just like a little bit but it's quite cold so i can't actually like feel my hands at the moment but you know we're going with it but it's such a cool day i'm loving this you got it first shot did he oh my god ar just looks incredible oh my gosh <laughs> we have just finished up a very lovely meal at the wild rabbit zen, don't we? yeah well I I think feel... it's because we like food yeah we've been like sat there for so long as well oh i'm just getting in the car yeah we've just finished off a tasting menu at the wild rabbit which i believe is part of the dalesford farm franchise i think because they had dalesford farm stuff everywhere like bamford spa i'm trying to convince ali to take me to dalesford tomorrow because i've literally been bugging him to take me for ages and he hasn't taken me so the fact that we're literally here it's on the way home how disappointed are you guys going to be if he doesn't take me tomorrow i think that we'll all be very disappointed so let's just put the pressure on because i really want to go but we are now off to the cotswold gin distillery and I've eaten so much food I've had to unbutton the top of my jeans. Actually, the new sort of video. Wow. Oh wow! Built and for some reason very hot, so we're working on the other one. Oh yeah! Wow! Yeah, it's like a sauna. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this this is my natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the cabinetry on that! Wow. So this will be the new shop. Cool. So this is the new version of. And I mean, you guys are literally the first people. Oh wow! We're seeing this because this was set up. Last night and this morning, wow. we're doing a video the table legs on being on it. Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> Not just a little bit of extra branding there. Yeah. So this is stunning. Our, our stunning. was working all night and all morning. Right. And I'm just 
getting it ready for the video. But it's not going to open for another two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, so is that the new tasting area? Well, that's gonna be the cafe. We never oh wow. Cafe. So now you'll be able to the, Wow, oh my goodness. Oh wow, I could stay here. You should turn it into a hotel as well. I I'll just be I'd be in here though, living my best life every day. This is what happens when Ali Gordon sees a sunset. <laughs> it was really lovely, but it's pretty much disappeared now in the two seconds that it took us to pull over. Cars are just thinking, who are these twats? <laughs> we have finished up at the Cotswolds Distillery and we are, well, where are they? We've got a bag full of alcohol that we're taking home with us. We got a bottle of their gin, obviously, and also their cream liqueur which was absolutely beautiful like I honestly I couldn't believe how beautiful that was so creamy yeah it was oh amazing it's such a beautiful brand it really was and you could really see all of the love and passion that has gone into their products I can believe that their gin is actually award wise the best gin in the world like that is a real claim to fame and I have had that gin quite a few times when I've been to like Babington House and basically whenever I see it because I love the Cotswolds and you know what I'm like with like country living and stuff so I often opt for the Cotswold gin and now I've got a bottle of my own but I also met the guy who started it and have an even deeper love for that for that particular gin and oh my god it, when you just smell it because quite often I just order myself a gin and tonic and I've never actually just had the neat gin in front of me and smelling it oh my god it was so flagrant is that the right word Fla flavorsome Flag flagrant or fake i don't know Flavors fragrant flavorsome. no flagrant i think that's I... it well fragrant that's the one Flavors. so it was like a mix of flavor <laughs> it was very fragrant that's the word i was looking for <laughs> but yeah we're heading back now because we've got dinner at the swan just opposite where we're staying for our last night here in the cotswolds time I'm probably going to have a Cotswolds gin and tonic as well which I'm looking forward to and it's been a long day and it's been a tiring day and bless Ali he's had a lot of content to do whilst he's been here with Aston Martin so he's been working very hard to get all of that done and now we can kind of relax and I've said to him tomorrow I am having a no makeup no knickers <laughs> not no knickers <laughs> I'm having a no makeup Day. I've got my leggings with me and just gonna have a chilled one. Hopefully we get to go to I've got my leggings with me. I know what you mean, it just sounds silly. <laughs> Why does it sound silly? It's like you know I'm gonna have a really chilled no makeup day. I've got my leggings. Yeah, but leggings I feel like that leggings what was it Karl Lagerfeld said about leggings or something like that or sweatpants, something like that, I can't remember. But yeah, I'm still trying to sorry if I keep going out of focus, it's really getting quite dark, so Anyway, sorry guys, I'm out of focus, but it's just not, it's not working for me at the moment. Yes, I'm trying to convince Ali to let me go to Dalesford Farm tomorrow to experience that and hopefully buy the whole place. <laughs> but obviously not the whole place because we can't get it home, but no problem, no problem. So yeah, I'm going to not continue talking to you because Ali is driving very, very fast at the moment and it's oh, making... Driving within the speed limit. You're driving within the speed limit, but it's too fast it's for me. I don't like it. I'm already packed 
and ready to check out. A little bit bleary eyed because I'm not doing makeup today, just having a chilled one because there's been a lot going on on this trip, so now I'm just having some downtime. But we are about to head over to the cookery school here at Time, and we're going to do a quick one hour cookery class before my husband treats me to a trip to Dalesford, which I'm looking forward to. I've also just chucked my hair up in a half ponytail because I couldn't be asked to do my hair today. So that's good, <laughs> living my best life. And my outfit today is, I am wearing my to, 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 to I'm just gonna stop saying. It's just my black blazer basically. Oh, you can't see me. Yeah, I'm wearing my black blazer and then I've got a black cashmere jumper underneath, some black leggings and my Dubarry boots. Basically, it, this is just a chilled outfit, but the blazer makes it look so much better. This is like my little wardrobe hack, leggings and a blazer go really well together. I wish I bought my trainers actually because I'd probably be a bit more comfortable but at least I don't have to worry about my shoes getting dirty. But we're going to head over now and do a quick cookery class and then head on our merry way. So we've arrived at the cookery school and they've already started making the jam for us because we're going to be making some scones hello. and some butter and hello! How are you? Thank you. How are you? Good, thank Hello. you. How are you? Good, you? Sorry about that. That was Karen, the owner of Time, coming in there. I haven't seen her in like three years, so that was lovely. But we're just in the cookery school. We're about to make some scones and some rhubarb jam and possibly some butter as well. And we're going to get to take those home and enjoy them, which is pretty special, even though I look quite tired at the moment. So sorry about that. But I'm going to enjoy doing some baking because I actually find baking a lot easier now. But I'm going to give it my best shot anyway. It's not the tomato juice. <laughs> it's the rhubarb jam that Sue's already made for us. So now we're going to make the butter to go with the scones. Wow, that's satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rhubarb jam that we're going to be taking away with us and I've actually never tried rhubarb jam but I do think I need to start getting into making my own jam because there's always blackberry bushes around our home and I could probably put them to good use so I'm going to start testing out some jam recipes I think. We are currently making the butter for our scones and I had a bit of a brainwave because we're obviously going home to the same house. <laughs> we're going to do one of the butters salted so we can have it on like toast and the other one we'll have with our scones so just call me the brains of the operation. By we you mean soup. Yeah I mean by, don't, don't expose me on my own channel. <laughs> <laughs> but the scones are out of the oven and this is my batch and that is Ali's batch. I think that Maybe I... Maybe he's put best foot forward. <laughs> this one. That's his favourite one. Or your best one to the front. Oh, my best one I would say is... No, oh, come on, let me come and have, have a little look. <laughs> I would probably say that one. Okay. So who's, who's his best guys? We'll let you decide. Mine's definitely got the, the height on yours. Show them the height. Yours is a little bit skewish compared yeah, to mine. No, it is, yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to turn it around and hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia's is on its side. No! <laughs> Leave mine alone. I think the clear winner is mine, okay? 